Welcome to Connie's Truffle House. Merry Christmas, friends. How many times have you been at a party, especially during the holidays, and you can't find anything you can eat because it's all made with gluten? Well, today I'm making baked brie in gluten-free puff pastry, and I know you're going to love it. So let's get started. Brown sugar, cranberries, which friends, I soaked these cranberries in a little bit of water for a short period of time just to soften them up. You don't have to do that. If you don't have time, take the dried cranberries right out of the package and put them in with the mix. Chopped pecans that I toasted. Toast your pecans, it really brings out the flavor. And then just a little bit of cinnamon. And that is all we need to make this baked brie taste like you bought it at a fancy deli. Step two is preparing the wheel of brie. This is an eight ounce round wheel. Very easy to find in all the groceries. I'm taking a small knife. I'm going to score around the wheel about, I'll go down maybe an eighth of an inch. Friends, this is dental floss. You can use kitchen string, but I happen to like using dental floss because it's so skinny. And I promise it's brand new. So you take the dental floss. Chris, you may want to come in for a close-up. You start threading your dental floss right in the area where you scored. Okay? And then I'm going to pull it through. Just pull, pull, pull. And look how easy this is. I'm on the other side. I yank it through. I separate the top from the bottom. Easy peasy clean. Isn't it beautiful? And I didn't waste any brie. Next, we add that yummy mixture on top of one half, just like this. Friends, I'm just gonna put this to the side and we'll start getting our puff pastry ready. We're ready for step three. Friends, I've already floured my board with my gluten-free flour. I've laid out my gluten-free puff pastry. Once again, all the measurements are on the blog. And now we need to roll this out. I floured my famous rolling pin that my granddaddy whittled, the only rolling pin that I've ever used or owned. I'm going to roll it out about an eighth of an inch works. You don't want it to be super thick, it may not bake through all the way, but you don't want it to be super thin because then it may be too thin and hard to handle and break and leak. Now this, my dear ones, I want to show you gluten-free pastry of any kind is going to be a little bit more challenging than gluten pastry. So we might get some rips, we might get some tears. I just come together, I just bring it back together. Come on, you can do it. Just bring it back together, roll it a little bit more, and now we are ready to put our filled cranberry mixture brie wheel right in the middle. And now what we're going to do, and this is where it takes some patience working with gluten-free puff pastry. We want to bring this up and just start wrapping it. Well, now right away, we can see that we've got more than we need. So instead of using it all, I'm going to just start trimming it because if we have a lot of excess, it's going to be bunchy. It may not bake evenly. So I'm going to work this over just kind of like you're wrapping a present. One thing that will help cracking and also it will help the puff pastry to adhere is your egg wash. An egg wash is just a beaten egg with a little bit of water. That's going to help this adhere when we start folding it over the brie wheel. Alrighty? But keep it handy because we're going to be using this throughout the process. Alright, so we're going to bring this up and if it starts to crack like that, we just hold it together. 
Gonna bring this part up. It's cracked in. Don't worry, just keep on going. Keep pinching it together. Once again, it requires a little bit of surgery and a whole lot of patience, but trust me, it's going to be worth it. I'm flipping it over, seam side down. That's why I didn't sprinkle anything on the top wheel of brie because after a little bit more egg wash right here, a little bit more, cover the whole thing. It makes it look so beautiful. It makes it beautiful golden brown. The egg wash will help you kind of pinch together those cracked areas of the pastry around like that. Okay, we're gonna set this aside and now I'm gonna show you how we're gonna decorate the top with that remaining puff pastry that we cut off. Got that little ball of extra puff pastry dough. I'm just gonna roll it out. And this is where, use your imagination. I love Christmas trees. I love the Christmas tree cookie cutter. This one right here. You can use stars. You can use little miniature Christmas trees, bells. An angel could be the top. So I'm going to use my large Christmas tree cookie cutter. Okay, I need to bring my big old wheel of brie back on the board here. And I'm going to use my egg wash. I'm going to put my Christmas tree on top of that egg wash. And then I'm going to egg wash the Christmas tree. Now, go all the way around the edges with that egg wash. And if you have a little bit of dough left over, the puff pastry dough, you can cut out some small Christmas trees and decorate the outer side of the brie wheel. This is ready to go into a 375 degree oven, 20 to 25 minutes till it's golden brown. All right, I'm gonna set this over here on a parchment paper lined cookie sheet. One of your trees fell off. A tree fell off. It needs a little bit more surgery. The baked brie in Gluten-free puff pastry is out of the oven. It took about 25 minutes, and look, the brie is loose and running. I've got gluten-free crackers. I've got Granny Smith's. I've got Fuji's. I've put in some of my dried cranberries around, and now I think it's time to taste this baby. I think I'm gonna try it on a gluten-free cracker, and Hopefully you won't get it all over my apron, which I want to tell you about this apron. If you all follow me on Connie's trufflehouse.com and some of my blog stories, you may recall the post I wrote about months ago when Bill and I traveled in Europe and lived in a car in 1973 for one year. One of our destinations was Sweden to find his Nelson roots. We were in a little town Ladies made these aprons by hand, and it survived storage for over 30 years, and I'm wearing it today. All righty, that's my story, and I'm sticking with it. Now let's try the brie. Mmm. It's delicious. Your gluten friends will not know the difference. I'm telling you, the gluten-free puff pastry is challenging to work with. It's delicious. I may try making homemade puff pastry. If I do, that will be coming up in a future video. Thank you for being here. I do believe we have tasted a little bit of heaven right here in Austin, Texas. Merry Christmas. We, You know how much Kristen and I love y'all. See you next time. Bye.